Welcome to today's video. We are going to do all things cooking, meal prepping. I am gluten free, so all these recipes are gluten free and the goal is healthy. I'm also gonna be cleaning my home, organizing, and just preparing for the week ahead. I'm so happy that you are here. Hello Cocos, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be prepping for the week ahead. I have groceries that I'm going to be getting ready and I'm gonna make my dog's food. There's no recipes this week. I'm just kind of making it up as I go, doing some eggs, doing a salad, doing a spaghetti squash pasta huh? dish and some smoothies and then just some veggies to bake so I have them on hand. Don't forget, I run three live workouts every single week. I would absolutely love to have you. It's called Coach Core and we go Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. and Saturdays at 10 a.m. So if you're looking to try a new workout routine, start moving again, it's all levels welcome. If you're ready, let's jump into it. I hope you get all the inspiration to prepare for your week ahead to help you get whatever you need to get done. Okay, we're just gonna start with a quick overview of the food we have this week. So this is actually the dog food that I'm going to be making. I have been making Kaiser's food because of his allergies, so everything's gonna be organic with him, but beef, potatoes, rice, peas, spinach, throwing all that in the crock pot. Next, this is gonna be the Greek salads. I love Greek salads if you watch this video. So chicken, spinach, feta, cucumbers, and tomatoes. And then this is gonna be the spaghetti squash mix I do. I'm gonna do beef in this also, um, but spaghetti squash, vodka sauce, some vegetables and beef. And then this is the vegetables that I'll be cleaning and baking and just having on hand to grab and eat. And then these are gonna be my snacks. So some oranges, mango, bananas, and I picked up this soup that was calling to me. And this is what I've been eating in the morning, the protein powder with frozen strawberries, almond milk. It literally tastes like a strawberry milkshake. So I'm just gonna start with preheating the oven and let's begin. So I'm not gonna lie, these potatoes got away from me a little bit. <laughs> some of them were good, some of them were not so good, so I'm just kinda cutting around anything that's not looking too great and putting the rest in his food. Oh, we can never 
So I had some tomatoes left over, I had some extra broccoli, and I had carrots. So I'm going to do this little hack in the rice cooker again that I did in my last video. I ended up forgetting the quinoa at my mom's house, but that's okay. So essentially you just put some shredded carrots in here, some broccoli that's broken up into smaller pieces. I have some of those tomatoes on the bottom. I did a cup of rice and then a cup and a half of water. And now I'm gonna mix it all up, put the lid on. I forgot to plug it in. So plug it in and then press the button. And when it's done, the rice is cooked and all the veggies are cooked. I will say it's a little bit better with the quinoa instead of the rice. This recipe was so delicious and I don't always talk about how much you should be eating and quantities of food because to be honest we all have very different bodies we all live very different lives and that's going to look different for everyone there's no one size fits all but when it comes to quality and when it comes to cooking your food at home anyone can benefit from that I love eating out also but when I cook and eat the majority of my meals at home I always feel my best Okay, and for dinner tonight, we are doing a big salad. I'm going to leave the Greek chicken out because we're going to do a big salad with a bowl of the spaghetti squash and beef, and it was amazing. You can do better, I tell you to be wilder. Okay, so it's day two. I didn't get to chopping the potatoes and vegetables, so I'm gonna chop those and bake them, and then I'm gonna do some stuff around the house. I wanna get some laundry done and some cleaning, so let's do it. Show you what 
Okay, real talk, how often do you guys clean your fans? For some reason, the fan in the bedroom gets so disgusting so fast, and if I'm being totally honest, if it wasn't for Patrick, I don't know if it would ever get cleaned, but grateful that we're cleaning it. I wish I got the before shot, but a little bit thankful that I didn't, or else I'd be really embarrassed, but we got the fan clean today, and I'm feeling really good about it.
So just finishing up this day with some laundry, feeling really good about all that we got done. I hope you got some inspiration from this video to tackle whatever you need to get done. And hopefully you got some inspiration to cook your food from home. Anyways, I hope to see you next Sunday for the next video or in a Coach Core class this upcoming week. See you soon. Are you having a good day? <laughs> I was gonna pick up that mat, but I guess I could leave it out for you. You look pretty cozy. <laughs> <laughs>